So good evening everyone. Here we are starting the Flona quiz, the wildlife and science quiz. After cold fusion, there has been quite a gap in our quizzes. So here we are presenting the wildlife and science quiz. So let's start with the first question. Also, the rules are provided in the group itself. So we'll be reviewing the answers and that we, you all will be giving in the live chat afterwards when the quiz is over. So we'll be posting the results after tomorrow. So let's get started with the quiz. All the best, everyone. So repeating the rules for those who have joined now, 17 questions in total. Questions from question number 8 to 11 are starred, and we'll be use them to resolve a tie. So the first three correct answers will be considered in this quiz. So the marking scheme is such that the first answer gets plus 30, second answer gets plus 20, and the third answer gets plus 10. No negatives for any wrong answer. And the QM's decision is final and binding. So let's rock and start with the first question. So question number one is, Haley National Park, Ram Ganga National Park, X. So this is an exhaustive list of something. So you need to identify what are these and you need to identify X. So answers in the chat, chat box. Please give what are these. You all are giving only the second answer. So we got adequate number of answers. So we would like to move to the answer. So the answer is, Jim Corbett National Park was X and all the other names provided 
that is Haley National Park and Ram Ganga National Park were the old names of the Jim Corbett National Park. So many of you have given the correct answer. And so we would like to move to the second question. Recently, KitKat was in the news for a controversy regarding a major factual error. The factual error came into the eyes of the forest department. The error was due to the wrong depiction of a particular national park while a red panda was shown in the wrapper while the species was not even found there. So which national park that is one of a kind in India we are talking about? And what is so special about this national park? So all of you can try the answers in the live chat. It is open. Let us wait for some more time to get more answers. So we are waiting till then. More answers are welcome. OK, so we would like to close this question here. So let's move to the answer. So the answer indeed is Kabul Lamjaw National Park. That is the only floating national park in the whole world. So KitKat had mentioned the location of the park to be Meghalaya, while the original location of the park is Bishnupur in Manipur. Also, they have given a picture of red panda that is found in Sikkim and not in Manipur. So many of you got the answer correct. You can see in the chat box. So we can move to the next question. This is the pick attached. And so here goes the third question. Cicadas are a super family, the Cicacoidea, of insects in the order Hem Hemiptera, that is true bugs. They are in the smaller, they are in the order Okenofinchia. Along with smaller jumping bugs such as leaf hoppers and frog hopper, the super family is divided into two families, the Tetigar cicadae with two species in Australia and the cicadae, with more than 3,000 species described from around the world. Many species remain undescribed. This insect's absence in one region of India has been helpful in naming of a very famous national park in India because of the absence of the noise caused by these insects. So which national park of India is this? Simple answer. So we expect more of you to give the correct answer. Also, I would like to add here that please don't try twice or thrice because only your first answer will be considered and spelling mistakes won't matter here. So if you are making any spelling mistakes, just leave it until it's understandable. So we got many correct answers here. And so we would like to move to the answer. Slide. So the answer indeed is the Silent Valley National Park in Kerala. So many of you got the answer correct. And so now we will move on to the fourth question. So according to H.M. Tipson, William was born in May 19, 1894 and presented to the society three months later by H. Ingall of Karwar. It reached its full length, 4.25 feet, 1.3 meter. By the end of its third year, its diet consisted of fruit, like plantain, sand, wild pigs, and also of live mice, scorpions, and plain raw and plain raw meat, which it ate with relish. It apparently did not drink water nor use it for bathing. 
William was known for catching tennis balls thrown at it from a distance of some 30 feet. So William is said to have lived Bombay Nat Natural History Society. So what type of creature is William? So answers in the chat box, please. Okay, we got too many answers here, so we can close the question. So we can move to the answer slide. So the answer indeed is Hornbills. The logo of BNHS is said to have been inspired from William, the Hornbill. So many answers are correct, almost every answer. So we can move to the fifth question. Hello, Arkea. Our class of urea archaeota found in water saturated or nearly saturated with salt. These microorganisms are members of the halophil community in that they require high salt concentrations to grow, with most species require more than 2 point M NaCl for oh. growth and survival. Hello, Arkea can grow aerobically or anaerobically. Parts of the membranes of Hello Arkea are purplish in color and large blooms of Helorchia appear reddish in a pigment bacteria or, bacteria or rhodopsin. Related to the retinal pigment rhodopsin, which it uses to transform light energy to the chemical energy by process unrelated to chlorophyll based photosynthesis, Helorchia have a potential solubilis, solubilized phosphorus. Phosphorus solubilizing halophilic archaea may well play a role in. Phosphorus nutrition to vegetation growing in hypersaline soils. Halarchia may also have applications as inoculants for crops growing in hypersaline regions. These bacteria came up in news when a water body in India turned temporarily pink and scientists found evidences of it in the water. So which lake, famous lake are we talking about in this question? So we got answers. Also, all of you, please do mind that once we close the answer, please don't give any answers in the chat box because it won't be considered. So we can close the question here since we got many answers. And so let us move to the answer slide. So the answer is indeed the loner lake in Maharashtra. So many of you got the answer correct. So we can move to the next question. So it is the sixth question. This file format is a modification of open standard PDF format of, for document exchange, which was created by the World Wide Fund for Nature. This file format was promoted to be more eco-friendly as it made printing difficult for users. This was done in order to minimize the printing of necessary, unnecessary documents and save paper. Though this file format was not only very successful, not very successful with alternative methods to print it out were, inter were introduced and was criticized. So what is the file extension of this document type? So we got answers here. So you can close the answer in five question in sec five seconds. So yeah, we can close the question here. And so we can move on to the answer. So the answer is in dot .wwf. So this is the file extension that they added in the file format. So many of you got the answer correct. And someone has given dot .weef. So that won't be considered because it is completely different. Uh, so it won't be considered as a spelling mistake. Too. So we can move to the next question. Dakshin Rai or King of the South is a revered deity 
who ruled over demons and beasts. He is regarded as the ruler of a particular place in India. In the Sialda South Lines, there is the station Thabthabi. A few miles away is the Dakshin Rai Temple. The residents of the area worship this tiger Godavari New Moon Amavasya. He is revered and appeased with animal sacrifices. Dakshin Rai also likes music and attracts musicians. The local tribes try their best to please the king of the south by dancing and singing night after night. Bon Baby or the Lady of the Forest is a guardian spirit of the forest worshipped by both Hindus and Muslims of this place. She is called upon mostly by honey collectors and woodcutters before entering the forests against the attacks of the tigers found in the particular region. So with which place in India would you associate these two deities? A particular place that is related to wildlife. So answers in the chat box. Yes, so we got answers. So yes, we can close the question here. So we can move on to the answer slide. And the answer is indeed Sundarbans, the wildlife region found in India and Bangladesh, in West Bengal, portions of West Bengal, Orisha, and parts, coastal regions of Bangladesh. So many of you got the answer correct. And so we can move on to the next question. How do we know the Clyde Auditorium in class go better as because of the similarity in shape of an animal of the same name? So the answer chat box is open. So you can give the answers. As we can close the answer here, we got enough answers. So, answer slide coming up, and the answer is armadillo. So, many of you got the answer correct. And so, we can move on to the next question. So, before that, I would like to add that some of you might be having some trouble with the network issues. So, you can see the red bar below the video so you can move it as further as you can such that to in keep up pace with the speed we are going such that you can be in pace with the questions and you can score your points and so next we will go to the next question so next question slide coming up On December 29, 2019, in a match for the Adelaide Strikers in the Big Bash League, Afghanistan all-rounder used the bat with a new design that had two bumps instead of one because of its shape. What was the name given to it by the cricket fans all over the world? So answers in the chat box. So as we said earlier, so please all of you give the answers as soon we have completed the reading of the question so that will be checked while we are checking for the answers in the live chat so you will get marks on the basis of that So we got adequate answers here, so we can close the question.
and move on to the answer slide. So the answer is in the camel bat that the cricket fans all over the world named this bat. So many of you got the answer correct. And so we can move on to the next question. Which shot is being executed by Kevin Peterson in this image? So all of you need to identify which famous and authentic shot by Kevin Peterson is this. So answers in the chat box. Okay, so we got answers here, so we can close the question. Okay, so moving on to the answer slide. It is indeed the fam flamingo shot that is being executed by the famous cricketer, Kevin Peterson. So many of you got the answer correct, and we can go to the next question. So the next questions will be asked by my friend Jaideep. So Jaideep, we can take over. Thank you, Jesu. You are audible. You missed. Can you please move to the next slide? Yeah. Guwahati became the first city in India to have its own city animal after Kamrup Metropolitan District Administration declared Dash as its official mascot in the first week of June 2016. The Kamrup Metropolitan District Administration had organized a three month long online and offline voting process. Among three protected animals to decide the city animal. These animals were Dash, local name Kihu, Greater Ejotkan Stork, Hargilla, and a black soft cell turtle, Borkaso. These three animals are on the verge of extinction. In this voting process, Dash had received highest, that is 24,247 votes out of 60,003 total votes. Which animal are we talking about? Answers in the chat box. Uh, we have enough answers. Uh, please move to the answer slide. So the answer is Gangetic River Dolphin, also known as the Hihu. Uh, next slide. The twelfth question is. This scheme was first implemented in India in the year 2016 from January 1st. This system came into force under the Arvind Kejriwal-led government in Delhi. This, the scheme aimed to reduce pollution and smog in Delhi. However, it was ended on November 11th, 2017. Though this system was prevalent at, at that time for anti-pollution reasons, but presently it is in the news for a different reason. Which system is this? Answers in the chat box. Let's wait for some more. Okay, so let's move to the answer slide. The answer is indeed the odd even rule. And Jayant Kumar was the first to answer it. Uh, next question, please. The 13th question is, uh, the first one is uh, elephant. The next one is giraffe. And the third one is cheetah. And the fourth one, I won't be saying the name of this great personality. So you just have to connect these three pictures. Like, as you can see, these are the superlatives of the land mammals. Connect with it with the great personality shown below. 
answers in a chat box. We saw some uh, clue might be required if please do say if you need some clues in the chat box. Okay, Yukta Singh, the answers will be still verified by all the other QMs. Uh, many of you are typing Olympics. Can you be more precise? Like connect it with the personality shown in the picture. How is Olympics really? to that personality so i have said uh, so clue is required i guess i have said the superlatives of land mammals how is superlatives of land mammals like why they are known so with respect to olympics let's wait for some more Uh, yes, we got the answer. Next slide, please. The answer is faster, higher, stronger. The cheetah is the fastest land mammal. The giraffe is the tallest or highest land mammal. And the elephant is the strongest land mammal. And Henry Deedon was the one who gave the motto for the Olympics. Uh, one more... Um, Addition to this motto is together, uh, which is added this year. Okay, so please the next question. The 14 question. Uh, connect this like McMohan line can, uh, divides India and China. Redcliffe line divides India and Pakistan. Duran line di divides Afghanistan and Pakistan. The Isthmus of Panama, North America and South America. So, what does the vinculum line divide? Just simply fill in the blanks. Answer in the chat box. What does the vinculum line divide? Sorry, Spandan didn't get you. Okay, we got the answer. Uh, next slide. Uh, so, vinculum lines divides the numerator and numerator and denominator. I think the first one to answer was sonic. Although I am just saying the answers will be still verified. Okay, so next slide. So, some of you may think that it is not a question of my life, but we have already mentioned that it is also of science. And science deals with mathematics. So, hence, this question is coming up in this quiz. Uh, yeah. Next slide. Uh, 15th question. In 1895, a German physicist named Wilhelm Röntgen made the discovery while experimenting electron beams in a gas discharge tube. Röntgen noticed that a fluorescent screen in his lab started to glow when the electron beam was turned on. Fluorescent material normally glows in reaction in electromagnetic radiation, but Röntgen's tube was surrounded by heavy black cardboard. Rohengen assumed that this would be this would have blocked most of the radiation. Uh, so Rohengen experimented something with his wife, who was terrified to see something, and stated that she was dead or that she has seen her death. Thus, Rohengen was attributed with the discovery of something very important, which is quite useful as well as important these days. So, what is his discovery? Uh, yeah. So many of you have answered. Next slide. Uh, yes.
so uh, the answer is x-rays and roentgen's wife saw her bones and was terrified uh, also the picture was edited okay so no problem no problem uh, next slide next slide next slide so the 16 question the daily break breakfast of mil millions of people all around the world x were invented when will get uh, y or i need the surname of will get accidentally left some wheat on the boil the world's most famous cereal was created and a dynasty was born so what is x used by us very frequently a daily breakfast invented by when will kit y i need uh, y is actually the surname of will kit and he invented x like it was a accidental discovery answers in the chat box okay next slide Yes, we, so we have got the answer next slide the answer is cornflakes uh, breakfast for million of us millions of us so next question and why was uh, kellogg yes no one have answered that we just need x okay next slide uh, this is a connect question connect the first image Uh, identify by yourself and marvel and the uh, just connect this uh, both three of these images answers in the chat box uh, okay i'll be explaining so the one who founded the image in the first slide also uh, wrote the image sorry the first person who invented the thing in the first image had the had wrote the image in the second and also had a cameo appearance in many of the marvel movies just identify who invented the thing in the first image and who wrote that uh, wrote the thesis or homework in the second image that's the answer like whose college homework was that in the second image participant any more clues required please ask in the chat box okay we got the answer next slide Uh, so the answer is elon musk uh, that image was his college homework and he also had many of the cameo many cameo appearances in many of the marvel marvel movies and that's the image of uh, tesla cyber truck uh, he is the founder of tesla as well as a ceo next question okay, here we are at the end of the quiz giving over to jesu so thank you everyone for joining us in this quiz after a long time we are conducting a topic based quiz and also we are coming up since this practice is just like unfair means for those who are having slow internet connectivity they might be giving the answer a bit late so for that we have another question here another quiz that we are coming up with so it is a fandom quiz based on your favorite fandoms so it will be conducted on 14th and 15th 14th will be having the prelims here itself on youtube and the answers will be in given in google forms and the finals that will be on independence day we all will be giving a particular time and we will be doing it on zoom and 
and it will be live streamed on YouTube. So all of you can enjoy the quiz and the posters and all the details about the fandom quiz will be up here soon in all your WhatsApp chats and other groups. And also we are introducing a Future Sick Minds newsletter that we planned earlier. And that's all for today. Thank you everyone for being with us till the end of this quiz.